In Creo Parametric 3.0, you can customize the ribbon in order to improve your efficiency. And in Creo Parametric 4.0 and later, they added some enhancements, but we'll cover that in another video. There are two main ways to configure the ribbon. First off, if you are working and you see some commands that you don't use and you no longer want them taking up space in the ribbon, you can right click on them and choose move to overflow and it no longer appears in the main ribbon. If I go to the investigate overflow menu, here you see it down at the bottom. Similarly, if there are commands in an overflow that you do use often, you can right click on them and choose to move to group and now you'll notice that it's located in the main ribbon. The other way of customizing the ribbon is by clicking on File, then Options, and on the left-hand side, you can choose to customize the ribbon. And let me adjust this down here, and I'm going to click on the Model tab because I'm going to add stuff to here, and I want you to see how the ribbon updates as I'm working on it. And so first off, we can see on the left hand side the different tabs that we have and let's say I'm a person who never uses framework maybe I don't want to see this at all I can uncheck that box and you'll notice that framework no longer appears at as a tab in my ribbon let's go about configuring our main tabs though so first off on the model tab you can see all the different groups and they have the check boxes and just like I did with the framework tab you can turn these different groups on and off you can select a tab and click the new group button and you see that we have a group in here if I right click on it I can choose rename there's also a rename command down here at the bottom but I'll choose rename and I'm going to create a group of commands for running model check and I will click OK to accept the name. And right now it's going to be my first tab on the left. And so with it selected, you could use the down keys to position it where you want. Maybe I want it to be between model intent group and the investigate group. So now with this group selected, I'm going to look for the commands that I want. And I happen to know that the model check commands are from the application menu. Those are the commands under file and then I can find the ones that I want. Let's see, model check interactive, let's add that one, and model check regenerate, add that one as well. Now I've got those two model check commands in the new group. Let's take a look at creating a new tab entirely. And so when I select a tab, I can right click and choose add new tab. You also have a new tab button that allows you to do that at any point. And I've got my new tab located right after the first tab. Let's again use the down keys to move it where I want. And I always like to create a new tab for the commands that aren't in the main ribbon. So I like to go there and just execute a bunch of different commands. So again, we will right click on it and choose rename. And for lack of originality, I'm going to call it commands. Then click OK you have a default group that's created I can right click on that as well and choose rename and I'm gonna have this be called my wind chill commands and let me click on my command tab so you can see it as I'm building it and one command that I use a lot is the server manager so let's select that one and add it and right now it's showing up as a uh, sort of like a line if I have the command select and then go to the modify button I can change how it's being displayed here it's using the default style for this one I want it to appear as a large button so there I have big server management located on there and let's create a, another group in here and let's move it below the first group and let me look for commands that uh, don't appear in the ribbon so there are a bunch of them so let's go to all commands and I happen to know that map keys that's one that I like to have in there unfortunately I've got to scroll down through the list in order to locate it and Creo parametric 4.0 I'll show you how that's easier and so there I have my map keys command and 
There's one for toggling the display of tolerances on and off. Let's add that one in there. And by doing that, I can create my different groups of commands that I want in here. And sometimes I end up having, you know, just a, a ton of different commands to make my life more efficient. In addition, with this group, we can add an overflow menu. And that will give us a drop down list where we have more commands. And so in this overflow, let's go and grab, I'm just going to grab the undeclare command and put it on there. Click the add button. And I'm going to click OK out of here just so you can see that when I go to this drop down menu, there is the command that is added to the menu. All right, let's go back inside of there. I just want to show you a couple of other different things. So again, file options, customize ribbon. Again, I've got my new ribbon located over here. Uh, in addition to this, let's go and add a command to this group here for doing various different measurements. And for this, I'll create a new cascade menu. And this will allow me to add commands underneath here that appear in a flyout. So let's go to the analysis tab. There it is, right in front of my face. Uh, and find the commands that I want. So for example, let's grab the mass properties and add it to the overflow. Let's also grab the prime analysis and add it to the overflow. And one more shaded curvature. And that way when I click OK, from the new cascade, which of course you can rename, we have these commands appearing for us. And now when I am happy, customize ribbon. Uh, you can import and export this, but be aware this is automatically saved for you. So you don't actually need to export it. But if you wanted to save it, you could choose to export all ribbons and customizations. And it'll be saved out in a Creo Parametric Customization UI file. Let me cancel out of there. You also have the ability to restore defaults if you want to go back to the original ribbon. So I've made my different changes. And you might have noticed right now I have an assembly open. Let's open up an individual part. And what you'll notice is that I don't have my commands tab in here. One of the drawbacks of customizing the ribbon in Creole Parametric 3.0 is that the customizations are specific to the mode that you're in. For example, assembly mode versus part mode versus sheet metal mode versus Creo simulate versus drawings. There's actually about 26 different modes in Creo parametric. So just be aware of that. The customizations that you make in one mode aren't necessarily going to propagate to other modes that you have. As a matter of fact, not necessarily. They don't uh, propagate. So that is a bit of a disadvantage. That was corrected in Creo Parametric 4.0. And I will show that to you in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.